Hey, just a quick video here on uh, how to save seeds. Now this is a, I don't remember the name, it's a winter squash anyway, I bought from the store. Supposedly it was uh, organic and everything. So I decided to see if they will grow here, apparently they could. So I'm saving the seeds and I'm gonna try them tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, <laughs> next year. Alright, so what I did, I split it up in two halves. Got some beautiful seeds here. They're not damaged at all by the knife. And what I'm simply gonna do, I'm not gonna wash them or anything. And I'm just gonna put them all up on a towel that I got last time I was feeling like not cooking, damn it. And uh, yeah, I got them from a restaurant. <laughs> short, short story. And yeah, some people wash them and all that stuff, but in nature, they would grow from that. Like nobody would come and Mother Nature doesn't open up every squash and washes them up before they start growing so and I've tried this before and they grew perfectly that's how I got all of my pumpkin seed last year and I planted five uh, five of them and I've got five pumpkin pumpkins growing so yeah that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna let them dry I just usually, you see there, I don't know if the zoom works. No, the zoom doesn't work. All right. I got some here. <laughs> they are dry. Just let them at the ambient temperature, which is pretty dry, so it's okay. I wouldn't put them in like a humid, humid place because, you know, if they're going to be dried, they need some dry hair. And after they're dry like that, I just put them in an old uh, medicine bottle and I store them in the fridge. I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna get the fridge all dirty. Yeah, these are peanuts. There they are. Oh yeah, and I found also that keeping peanuts in the fridge, uh, well, they just, they taste better, I think. Not I think, I found. All right, so that's how you save seeds. And come spring, I'm going to be trying out. <laughs> I'm going to try and grow them. And that's a stew I'm making. And I'm making another bread today. And that is with good yeast. And uh, I think there's a problem with the recipe. Next time I'm going to try adding more yeast and we'll see what it uh, what it does when it works I'll update uh, again about the bread. All right, see you. Now once I'm done with that and my stew is uh, simmering, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to build little greenhouses for my zucchinis. See ya.